In this video, we're gonna cover the Mantis Blackbeard X system for the AR style rifle. You can see it's already installed in my rifle here. It's my SIG 516. We're gonna talk about the Blackbeard X and how it can help you improve your rifle shooting skills. Let's get into it. First, I wanna thank Mantis for sending us the Blackbeard X system. We reached out to them, told them we're creating a uh, training course and we'd like to have good products to recommend to our students and they were kind enough to send us the Blackbeard X for our review. Folks, you've often heard me talk about training, training, and more training. One of the ways you can practice when you're not at the range or when you can't afford ammunition because it's the price has gone up so much is dry fire practicing, right? There are several ways you can do that. I've done a, a review on the Mantis X10 shooting performance system. I'll put a link to that in the description and also on the screen. Please check out that video when you get a chance. So you can see it's already installed in my rifle. So it, my rifle cannot fire live ammunition. It replaces the bolt carrier assembly. So it's the bolt and it's the charging handle that come out of your rifle and the magazine. It takes less than a minute. There's no modifications to your rifle. Inside the magazine are some electronics and a Bluetooth, a button to uh, sync the Bluetooth with your phone and your app. We'll get into that in a minute. When you replace the Mantis Blackbeard X in your rifle, I, as I said, it cannot fire live ammunition. So I should point out that whenever I do any dry fire training, I make sure I do not have any live ammunition in the room or anywhere around the guns that I'm using. Also for force on force training, this is very important. So if we do have any real magazines in the room, they're not loaded with live ammunition, or if they are loaded at all, they're loaded with dummy rounds. So it's very important for safety's sake, but in this configuration, it cannot fire live ammunition. Very easy to install, again, less than a minute, no modifications. The great thing too about uh, the Blackbeard X, your trigger pull is not changed at all. It's the same force to pull your trigger when you install the uh, Blackbeard X system into your rifle. You can use it in your own home, you can use it with your own rifle, no modifications to your rifle. The Blackbeard X combines two great systems. The Blackbeard, which was just the trigger resetting device, right? So you didn't have to keep pulling the charging handle every shot that you took during your dry fire. So that was a great product to begin with. And they combine it with the Mantis X, which is the electronics, along with the app that's free to download it records and measures your shooting in a dynamic fashion, meaning while you're shooting from target to target, it records quantifiable, measurable data that can help you improve. And we'll get into that. I'll take you through a couple of the drills and you can see what I mean. But basically it's recording. It has accelerometers and all kinds of uh, electronics inside uh, the device that will record your movement and it will track you from the, when you first line up on target and it times everything, it records all the movement necessary to get to that target, how long you took to take the shot, how much you moved after the shot, how much from that shot to the next shot, and so on and so forth. So what it's really measuring is how you do, how you perform, the economy of your motions in a multi-target environment. So for example, if you were using your AR-15 style rifle for home defense, and say you had a, a couple of assailants that came into your house and you wanted to practice, you could actually set up targets. I set up a couple targets in my room here. You could set up targets, it comes with a couple different laser options for you, but you could actually set up a scenario in which you have multiple targets to shoot at. And again, it will record your movement from each target, how long you stayed on each target, how long were you on target before you actually pulled the trigger, how much did you move the rifle after, during and after the trigger pull. And again, all this data is recorded. You can play it back. You could see it in real time. You can play it back when you're done. So the whole bottom line is when you, if you have issues in a certain area, let's say from going from one target to the next, maybe from the bottom right to the upper left, maybe that's where you have your issue and you're moving the rifle a little bit more than you want to, you can focus on that movement. You can set up a little micro drill for yourself and just do that part that you need work on. That's the great thing about this. 
we're going to take a look at the app and I'm going to show you how it records and gives you a score and shows you how you can improve. So the first thing we do is we open up the app. Now there's a button. You see the blue light. Come on. It's Bluetooth. Connect. And there you have it. It's that easy. Now we're connected to the app. So we can go into settings. We can see the rifle is selected right hand. There are some options here that you can change. So if we go back to here and we go to uh, BBX Dynamics is really like an open shoot calibrating. It tells me to put the rifle down on a flat surface while it calibrates. Now the calibrating is complete. So what we can do is uh, we can set up targets. So this is telling me to shoot with multiple targets, minimum of two, uh, focusing on straight transitions, minimal over travel and minimal delay on target. So just some of the things that I was talking about. So we're gonna hit start. I'm just gonna go through a couple of targets. Okay, so I took a few shots. You can see here, 65.2, 82, 91, 92, 79. My overall score is an 82. Uh, total elapsed time, 8.5 seconds. So it, it, it times each one. We can click on each one. You can see this is the movement. So the blue is the movement until the move, the blue is the movement right up until I take the shot, right? I was a little, obviously you can see how I moved the rifle right up until I get on target and before I take the shot, right? The yellow is the actual movement during trigger pull. The X is uh, the, the, the breaking of the shot, and then the red is the movement after the shot. So we can go through each, and you can see this is a, a video motion graphic of the movement. I did a total of five shots. It's showing you, obviously, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So it's gonna show me if I'm going off my from target to target. You can see there's a little bit of a movement there. It also has a, a, a other graphics to show you. So this is trigger control, uh, and these are all kinds of uh, charts that are gonna give you information. You click on any one of them, it will tell you not enough trigger, not enough trigger finger, right? So it's telling me all these different things to improve, right? It's a great way to see how you're shooting. You can actually see going from target to target how you're moving. All right, now, as you can see, there are many drills here. So if we scroll down, look at all these drills, open timing, shot timer, part timer, shoot, no shoot, uh, mantis benchmark, time benchmark, compress, surprise, break, kneeling, uh, courses, there are courses, Mantis X Introduction, Basic Rifleman, Advanced Rifleman, Elite Rifleman, all these ways to improve your shooting. So if I just do some open training here, so this tells me precision marksmanship. So the instructions are shoot any number of shots at any pace, review your score and trace view. This drill is not time. So we can take our time with this, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna take a couple of shots. All right, so here's some shots, so 89.3. You can see the rings. If you click on one of these rings, it's telling me support hand pulling. So it's telling me what it sensed. The accelerometers in this device is sensing that on that shot, I my support hand was pulling slightly. So it gives me an explanation of what that is and how I can correct it. So if we go back, let me look at the other score here. All right, shoulder the rifle. So I was shouldering the rifle on that one, right? So if I also do, if I click up here, and obviously support hand pushing. So obviously, wherever you see a red ring, that's the direction that you're pulling or pushing. So it gives you some great information. There's graphics here in, in different formats telling me how much the yellow is, how much the tr during the trigger press did I move? And the blue is of course the hold movement. So leading up to that trigger pull is the blue. And then of course, here's our graphical uh, picture of what it looked like when we actually took that shot. 
So you see the movement there. The blue is leading up to that shot, right? And how well did I did I hold it? The, the X is the breaking of the shot. And then there you, there you have it. So gives you a lot of information. There's the movement from the beginning. This is a great tool, folks. So you can see from the app that there are so many different things you can do with the Blackbeard X. It will just absolutely improve your shooting. I'm a firm believer that you should practice as much as possible. We can't always get to the range. Ammunition is so expensive. And if you think about at the time of this recording, this device with the laser, it's, it's about 300 to $350 depending on your laser option. But if you think about a, tr a typical trip to the range and how much money you spend on ammunition alone, and then you have the whole process of, of getting to the range, uh, and if it's a bad weather day, then you know that's gonna affect your shooting as well. So if you think about the money you spend on ammunition on a typical range day, the cost of this device to me is not that expensive. In fact, you could, a couple of training sessions that you would do at home versus go to the range, you would, you would get your money back easily. So if you're gonna train and if you're gonna use this system, I highly recommend you get this to supplement your live training because there is no substitute for live training. Another great thing about the Blackbeard X is you can use it for force on force training. So with other training devices, do you want to practice like I mentioned before, you want to practice a simulate a scenario in which you have a home invasion with multiple uh, aggressors and you want to use this device for force on force training, uh, it's great for that. Great for those types of scenarios. So you've got your own rifle, you're training with your own rifle. There's no modifications to your rifle. The trigger pull is not affected by this device. It's just auto resetting. And you got data that will be recorded on the app and you can go through and you can see what areas you need work on. Highly recommend it, folks. Uh, so if you're looking for a dry fire for your rifle, the Mantis Blackbeard X is the system for you. I'll put a link in the description if you want more information from Mantis on this device and other devices they offer. Like I mentioned before, I did do a review on the X10 uh, shooting performance system, so check out that as well. Uh, and if you like this video, please hit that like button, share it with anyone you think will, uh, will appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing uh, for more videos like this. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.